Good morning, and welcome to UMBC's graduate commencement exercises. The ceremony will begin in a few minutes. First, a few notes for your safety and comfort. Please note the exits around the arena, in particular the ones nearest you. Emergency medical services are available on the concourse level behind section 101. During the ceremony, please do not leave your seats to take photographs or videos. Aisles must remain clear at all times, and guests are not allowed on the main floor. As we prepare to begin our ceremony, please silence your cell phones and other electronic devices. We ask that all guests stay until the end of the ceremony out of respect for our graduates and UMBC. Please welcome our UMBC Brass Quintet, featuring Kurt Dupuy on trumpet, David Nekula on trumpet, Patrick Crossland on trombone, Chandra Cervantes on French horn, and Brian Kaufman on tuba. Please turn your attention to the far end of the arena floor and stand for our commencement procession. Graduate School is led by the Graduate School Marshal, Dr. Jeffrey Halverson, Associate Dean of the Graduate School. The session of graduates is led by the student's marshal, Dr. Tamra Mendelson, the 2022 recipient of the Presidential Teaching Professor Award and Professor of Biological Sciences. She is accompanied by our student marshals, Evan Sheldon, a student in physics, and Imani Conway, a student in public health.
The faculty and staff procession is led by Staff Marshal Elena Dolan, recipient of the 2022-23 Presidential Distinguished Staff Award for non-exempt staff, and Executive Administrative Assistant in the Division of Information Technology. The staff and students' marshals are carrying batons that the UMBC Alumni Association gave to the university in honor of our 40th anniversary in 2006. Platform Party is led by the Grand Marshal, Dr. Susan McDonough, President of the Faculty Senate and Associate Professor of History. The Grand Marshal carries the University Mace, a symbol of presidential authority. Used only on formal academic occasions, UMBC's Mace was commissioned by the Alumni Association for UMBC's 20th anniversary in 1986.
The eight, whoa, <laughs> so sorry. <laughs> the 80th commencement exercises of the University of Maryland, Baltimore County will now be in order. Please rise. Please rise for our national anthem, performed by Regina Catherine Aquino, a senior soprano vocal performance major on the pre-nursing track. Regina is honored to represent the music department today. Her performance will be accompanied by a presentation of the colors by UMBC's Naval ROTC program. Please remain standing throughout the anthem and until the colors have retired. Say, can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket Thank you, Regina. That was a wonderful rendition, and we wish you well after graduation. Everyone, please be seated. As we welcome you to UMBC, we wish to acknowledge that UMBC was established upon the land of the Piscataway and Susquehannock peoples. Over time, citizens of many more indigenous nations have come to reside in this region. We humbly offer our respect to all past, present, and future indigenous people connected to this place. Now, I am pleased to introduce the president of UMBC, Dr. Valerie Shears Ashby. It is with great pleasure that we celebrate the first spring commencement of UMBC's president. President Valerie Shears Ashby was officially appointed in August and formally installed a few weeks ago in April. She is UMBC's sixth president and the first woman to serve in that role. Please. So, as you've already done, please join me in welcoming <laughs> President Valerie Shears Ashby.
Thank you, Susan. Good morning. Oh, we can do better. It's a good morning. Good morning. Good morning. What a glorious occasion. On behalf of our entire community, it is my privilege to welcome you to the 80th commencement of the University of Maryland, Baltimore County. <laughs> to the families and friends of our graduates, we are delighted that you have joined us from near and from far to honor and celebrate these outstanding students. I also want to welcome those graduating students, family members, and friends who are joining us online. Thank you for being a part of today's ceremony. Thank you as well to my fe fellow campus leaders who are here with us today, to the academic and administrative leaders, shared governance leaders, members of the commencement executive committee, and to the presidential faculty and staff award recipients, welcome and thank you for being here. Tomorrow, we will hold two ceremonies to award baccalaureate degrees to our undergraduate students. But today, I have the privilege of joining my colleagues and all of you in celebrating our graduate students. Those who have completed their, you, you can clap, they have earned it. These are the students who have completed their courses of study and met all requirements to receive master's and doctoral degrees. So today, this is what this is about. They have completed all of their requirements for the rewarding of the degree. But let me talk just for a moment about what it means. Graduates, I see you there. Graduates, you know what it means to you. This is the culmination of a long journey and the start of a new one. Whether in academia, industry, the arts, or public service, the road to today undoubtedly has been filled with great challenge and great joy, and with questioning, discovery, and growth. For so much of this journey, you have been focused on the work, the inquiry, the research, the creation, and the elucidation and articulation of your ideas and innovations. Today, I want you to focus and pause just for a moment to reflect on your personal growth through all of that work. How you are different as a person, as a maker, a thinker, a collaborator, a problem solver, a performer, an artist. I want you to think about the new perspectives with which you look upon the world your neighborhood, and your background. Think about your strength, your resilience, your determination, and your sense of responsibility to others. Your degree signifies a great academic achievement. It also honors your personal journey and evolution as a human being. Graduates, you may also think you know what today means to your faculty, mentors, and advisors. But trust me, as a faculty member, I can tell you, you have only the smallest inkling of what this means. I cannot overstate the significance of today's ceremony to the faculty. The evolution of the faculty-grad-student relationship is an extraordinary thing. It starts out as mentor-mentee when you're working closely in the co-creation of knowledge, where you're mostly learning from your advisor. But then over time, this beautiful thing happens, and the questions and ideas become your own, and you know more about what you're doing than your advisor does. And then the relationship becomes one of collaborators, in which sometimes, really oftentimes, you are the leader. And so today, we have the privilege of honoring that wonderful transformation. In many cases, your advisor is giving you the same degree that they have, and they are prouder of you on this day than they were when they received it themselves. This is a special day. It is a day when we joyfully glimpse into the future and know that it is in good hands. And now I just say a word to our families and friends. Some of you who have been on this journey yourselves, you know what it means. 
but for many of you, it probably has seemed mysterious and even strange at times. Uh Uh-huh, I know. You might have wondered if these students were ever going to finish. And you also might have wondered, what exactly are they doing? And why? And does it matter? And are they going to get a job? And is this really going to be worth it? So here's the thing that I want all of our families and friends to know. These students, our amazing UMBC graduate students, have ascended to the, yes. Yes. These students have ascended to the highest level of academic achievement. And it is rare for a reason. It is hard, and it's something that even few ever attempt, let alone complete. But our world is going to be better because of the students that you see here, because of their passion, and because of their brilliance. They will write the books that we study. They will create the art, discover the solutions, develop the policies, and help us better understand ourselves, each other, and our world. I know that you are proud of them. I can feel that from up here. And I want each of you to know that we share in your pride and joy. So to our families, friends, faculty, and most of all, to our amazing UMBC students and graduates as of today, congratulations. And now it is my pleasure to share with you greetings from the 63rd Governor of Maryland, the Honorable Wes Moore. It's Governor Wes Moore. And on behalf of the people of Maryland, I'd like to offer my deepest congratulations to the class of 2023. You all have gone on an impressive and a defining journey. This class includes people from all kinds of backgrounds, including returning students, graduates who are the first in their family to attend college, members of the military, and working professionals, all of whom put in the work and the time and the attention to earn an advanced degree. Today's graduation stands as a major milestone on your path of lifelong learning, and I'm thrilled for you all. Getting this far and reaching this day demonstrates something powerful, your belief in the power of education It demonstrates the evidence of your willingness to invest in yourselves, and I congratulate you on the fortitude you've shown in making that investment. I also want to note the sacrifices some of you have made to be here. Throughout the years, in order to get to this day, you, as well as your loved ones, have had to make meaningful sacrifices that weren't always easy. From missed birthday parties to sleepless nights to taking time off work, you braved it all, and now, an abundant future awaits you. So as you go forth, take all that you've learned and pledge to use it for good. Building a brighter future for our state and our entire world will require graduates like all of you doing their best and giving their all. And I look forward to being on that journey with you. I wish you all the best in your personal and professional goals. We are grateful to Governor Moore for those words, and it was a privilege to have him on our campus just a few short weeks ago. And now, it is my pleasure to welcome Philip Rouse, UMBC's Provost and Senior Vice President for Academic Affairs. Thank you so much, President Shears Ashby. And good morning. On behalf of the scholarly community we call our UMBC, I want to extend my congratulations to all of our graduates. Of course, we had very high expectations when we welcomed you as a member of the UMBC community. And those expectations were based upon your promise as scholars. Today we celebrate 
your fulfillment of that promise. You will join the tradition of UMBC alumni who through their life's work continue to advance our understanding of our own humanity, our democracy, the natural world that surrounds us, and most importantly, make a difference in the lives of others. And so your diploma represents not just your academic achievement, but the friendships you formed, the faculty who nurtured you, and the family and friends who supported you and helped you to arrive here today. So I hope you will see your achievement as emerging from within the context of a community, a community that knows you and cares about you. My greatest hope is that your experience as a member of our community will have provided you with the opportunity to reflect on the many values that we share together, values such as excellence, commitment, hard work, inclusiveness and respect for the dignity of others. And perhaps the most important of these is integrity, which means putting your values into action. So as you look to the future, I believe that your fulfillment will derive from making the most of whatever talents have been bestowed on upon each of you. And it lies in extending to the farthest limits the resources of your mind and of your heart. So I'll leave you with a final salutation, and it's this. May you each enjoy a life rich in the knowledge that each day your work and your relationships have truly made a difference. Congratulations. And now I'm delighted to introduce the Vice Provost and Dean of the Graduate School, Dr. Janet Rutledge. Good morning. Good morning. President Shears Ashby, Provost Rouse, and distinguished guests. Today we gather together in a time-honored tradition shared across the world in saluting the attainment of the standards of advanced graduate study. This ceremonial tradition of the conferral of master's and doctoral degrees is one that provides a universal currency signifying the highest standard of achievement in the disciplines, subjects, and professions sponsored by UMBC. This is one of life's happiest and most significant milestones for each of our graduates today. It is a milestone not only for those earning the degrees, but for all of us here today. For the graduates seated in front of me, it signifies the completion of your master's or doctoral degree and the acceptance of new and ever more challenging horizons. For the faculty and staff, the event serves as a capstone for all they have shared with you and brings special joy at seeing your personal success. And for the families and friends here today, it is a moment in which we can all share, acknowledging the recognition that you, our soon-to-be graduates, so richly deserve. For me and many others, it is a special moment during which we can witness the fruits of the many labors in our community and take pride in the remarkable work that takes place here at UMBC. During the ceremony, those of you receiving degrees will transition from being students to being alumni. Whatever career pathway you choose, you represent the very best of the future. You have embarked on one of the most important journeys of your lives, and we are all very, very proud of you. As we pay tribute to you today, we recognize, too, those who have supported you during your studies at UMBC. We know how much your families and friends have provided throughout the experience, and this is their day, too. We come together also to acknowledge the faculty and staff who have encouraged, mentored, and inspired you to achieve your very best at UMBC. By honoring you, our graduates, we pay tribute to their artful craft of leading you to this day. So graduates, please give all of those who have supported you during these important years a round of applause.
I recently heard an interview with a young man named Liam Garner who rode his bicycle from the very northernmost part of Alaska to the southern tip of Argentina, over 20,000 miles in 527 days. And when asked to provide advice to others who were embarking on incredible goals, he said, people tend to have crazy ambitions and dreams, but they just don't think that they're the person to do it or that it's even feasible. I picked the most impossible thing because if I somehow managed to finish this trip, this crazy feat, that I would never be able to doubt myself again because from then on, I would, always, I would have always done something that I thought was impossible. So anything in the future that I considered to be impossible was now on the table. He went on to say, just do the first step. And you might find that in a year or however long it takes you, you might actually get to the last step and be done. And it'll be this impossible thing achieved. So graduates, while at times, while pursuing your degree, you may have felt like it was an impossible dream. You did it. You completed the last step and finished in style. And may this accomplishment and all that you have learned along the way provide you the tools and the confidence to achieve all your ambitions and dreams. Congratulations from all of us. We will now move to the part of the program when we confer the PhD and master's degrees. President Shears Ashby, will you join me at the podium to confer the degrees? Before we begin re reading the names of our graduates, we want to first share the short video recognizing our graduates who are participating virtually. Please help us cheer for them here and online. If you are a graduate joining us virtually, please post in the chat so we can celebrate you. Irfan Ali. Sahara Ali. Safiya Al Rohani. Hari Krishna Bumani. Krishna Sai Biradar. Danielle Weiss Byrne, Doctor of Philosophy, whose mentor is Dr. Linda Dahlquist. Melissa Ann Congelosi Coleman. Rachmat Aditya Effendi. Mariah Clarissa Gabrielle Ellington. John Maxwell Fenimore, Doctor of Philosophy, whose mentor is Dr. Michelle Stars Guyano and whose co-mentor is Dr. Howard Young. Michael S. Jerome. Sharon Reddy Jacaredi. Spencer Jacquet. Omar Aga Khan. Abhinav Reddy Mandadi. Hassan Mahmoud Protoy. Caroline Sargent. Deepika Sharma. Let's give all of those participating virtually another round of applause. Today, each graduate will receive a memento from the UMBC Alumni Association. Representing the Alumni Association Board of Directors today is Mr. Kevin Yang. Kevin is one of over 90,000 UMBC alumni worldwide. He graduated with a bachelor's degree in computer science in 2007 and is founder of KRY Properties. Please join me in thanking Kevin for his support of UMBC. Thank you. Now, will the candidates for the degree of Doctor of Philosophy please rise?
President Shears Ashby, I have the honor of presenting the graduates recommended by the faculty of the University of Maryland, Baltimore County for the degree of Doctor of Philosophy, the highest earned degree for which any university has the power to confer. Graduates, upon the recommendation of the faculty and by the authority of the State of Maryland given to the Board of Regents and the Chancellor of the University System of Maryland, and by them entrusted to me, I hereby admit you to the degree of Doctor of Philosophy, which you have earned during the course of your studies at the University of Maryland, Baltimore County. In token whereof, you shall be given a diploma with all of the honors, privileges, and responsibilities thereunto pertaining. Thank you. Now will the candidates for the degree of Doctor of Philosophy please proceed with their mentors to the platform. For others, please remain seated until your row is escorted to the stage. Doctoral candidates in the College of Arts, Humanities, and Social Sciences. In the program of Geography and Environmental Systems. Ohad J. Paris, Doctor of Philosophy, whose mentor is Dr. Colin Studs. Dr. Paris investigated the effects of urbanization on the nest success of Northern Cardinals. His findings will help conserve urban bird biodiversity. He is looking forward to a career in research. John Henry Peters, Doctor of Philosophy, whose mentor is Dr. Don Beeler. Dr. Peters investigated the geography of waste disposal infrastructure in Baltimore in uncovering how waste systems supported an emerging throwaway society while marginalizing waste laborers, but also containing possibilities for everyday resistance. They are an adjunct instructor at Coppin State University. Karen M. Tabor, Doctor of Philosophy, whose mentor is Dr. Margaret Holland. Dr. Tabor researched how to facilitate satellite monitoring technologies by land managers in support of digital equity and global sustainability. She is a senior research scientist at the NASA Goddard Space Flight Center and a researcher with UMBC and NASA's Goddard Earth Sciences Technology and Research II Center. In the program of Language, Literacy, and Culture, Tamisha Jackson Ponder, Doctor of Philosophy, whose mentor is Dr. Beverly Bickle and whose co-mentor is Dr. Michelle Scott. Dr. Ponder interviewed Black Lives Matter activist women about legacies of 21st century student organizing, revealing that radical self-care and mental wellness practices became unintended byproducts. She is the CEO of Sankofa Health and Wellness, an integrative wellness company in Laurel, Maryland. Dawn Marie Schaefer, Doctor of Philosophy, whose mentor is Dr. Christine Mallinson and whose co-mentor is Dr. Beth Duthert Cohen. Dr. Schaefer explored the experiences of first-generation master students and the strengths they use to, per to persevere. She is the Associate Dean for Student Affairs at the University of Maryland School of Social Work graduate program. in the program of Applied Developmental Psychology. Lisa Marie Shanti, Doctor of Philosophy, whose mentor is Dr. David Schultz. 
Dr. Shanti examined successes and challenges that home visitors experienced while promoting positive parent-child interactions. She is a doctoral fellow and assistant research scientist at the Johns Hopkins Ideals Institute and the Maryland State Department of Education. in the program of Human Services Psychology. Sarah Yoon Jung, Doctor of Philosophy, whose mentor is Dr. Sherry Waldstein. <laughs> Dr. Jung researched an intersectionality approach to examine mental health and health disparities in communities of color. She will complete her postdoctoral fellowship in women's health at the University of California, San Diego, and the San Diego Veterans Affairs. Jason Ash, Human Services Psychology, being hooded by his mentor, Dr. Sherry Waldstein. Dr. Ash studied how religion gets under the skin and helps protect against discrimination and risk for heart disease among black Americans. He plans to pursue a postdoctoral fellowship in health disparities at the National Institute of Aging. In the program of public policy, Vincent Canazaro, Doctor of Philosophy, whose mentor is Dr. Lauren Edwards. Dr. Canazaro researched applied local public policy analysis and design. He is the director of the Arthur J. Glattfelter Institute for Public Policy and the Master of Public Policy and Administration Program at York College of Pennsylvania. Geraldine Bixler Robbins, Doctor of Philosophy, whose mentor is Dr. Lauren Edwards and whose co-mentor is Dr. Jane Linko. Dr. Robbins completed a causal pathway analysis on stakeholder participation in two engineering technical training and development programs at the NASA Goddard Space Flight Center. She identified mechanisms and factors which will be the basis for her future research as she continues her work at Goddard. Lauren Ashley Hall. Doctor of Philosophy, whose mentor is Dr. Jane Linkove. Dr. Hall studied states' adoptions of equity components in higher education performance funding policies and the impacts of equity components on enrollment of underrepresented students. She continues her role as Assistant Research Director at the University of Maryland School of Social Work. Shawana Kanjit Lachur, Doctor of Philosophy, whose mentor is Dr. Nancy Miller. Dr. Lasher an analyzed legal cynicisms among adolescents, adolescents, finding that it is prevalent among African Americans, males, and low-income households, and develops differently in schools than in neighborhoods. She will be a postdoctoral fellow at the University of Pittsburgh while pursuing her work in the office of the city administrator. Kiki Ayodeli Malomo Paris, Doctor of Philosophy, whose mentor is Dr. David Salkever and whose co mentor is Dr. Nancy Miller. Dr. Malomo Paris examined the impact of the low income housing tax credit program on perinatal outcomes in low income census tracts. She joins the Hilltop Institute as a policy analyst on the Medicaid Policy Studies team, focusing on research related to the social determinants of health in the Medicaid arena. Nathan Lewis Pritchard, Doctor of Philosophy, whose mentor is Dr. Pamela R. Bennett. Dr. Pritchard conducted an interdisciplinary study of labor supply and wages among households that receive rental assistance to understand whether and how the structure of federal rental assistance policy shaped the economic outcomes of program participants. In the program of biological sciences, 
Malika Bhattacharya, Doctor of Philosophy, whose mentor is Dr. Michelle Stars Guyano. Dr. Bhattacharya analyzed fruit flies to model human genetics, elucidating novel mechanisms that regulate cell migration through steroid, steroid hormone signaling. She will conduct postdoctoral research at the National Institutes of Health. John Maxwell Fenimore, Doctor of Philosophy, whose mentor is Dr. Michelle Stars Guyano, and whose co-mentor is Dr. Howard Young. Dr. Fenimore's research focused on immuno immunological and metabolic dysfunction in male murine models, describing immune-driven metabolic deficiencies and modeling underserved patient populations. He is a postdoctoral fellow at the National Cancer Institute. Archana Hari, Doctor of Philosophy, whose mentor is Dr. Daniel Lobo. Dr. Hari developed novel systems biology methods to efficiently simulate and visualize all the thousands of metabolic reactions in organisms from bacteria to human, accelerating drug development, biofuel production, and healthcare. She is a research scientist advancing military medicine. Sima Saleh, Doctor of Philosophy, whose mentor is Dr. Philip Farabaugh. Dr. Saleh demonstrated that enzymatic modification of transfer RNA modulates the frequency of errors during protein synthesis. She is a postdoctoral fellow at the Food and Drug Administration, working to improve the utility of the adeno-associated virus in gene therapy applications. in the program of Neurosciences and Cognitive Sciences. Alexis Page Nobleman, Doctor of Philosophy, whose mentor is Dr. Phyllis Robinson and whose co-mentor is Dr. Samer Hattar. Dr. Nobleman investigated dopamine and protein kinase A on the visual pigment melanopsin's ability to regulate and modulate light information in a way that allows an animal to respond successfully to changes in the light environment. She will be a biology department lecturer at Towson University. In the program of chemistry, Shin Mei Dong, Doctor of Philosophy, whose mentor is Dr. Michael Summers. Dr. Dong used a combination of nuclear magnetic resonance spectroscopy and chemical probing to understand how HIV-1 controls the functions of its RNA genome. She leads the development of RNA-targeted therapeutics at a startup company in Boston. In the program of Applied Mathematics, Abhishek Balakrishna, Doctor of Philosophy, whose mentor is Dr. Anamik Biswas, and whose co-mentor is Dr. Justin Webster. Dr. Balakrishna resolved an open problem in the stabilization of aeroelastic flutter. Using data assimilation, he made a significant contribution to the famous global regularity problem in fluids. He will be a postdoctoral researcher at the University of Southern California. <laughs> Sylvia Joanna Gutowska, Doctor of Philosophy, whose mentor is Dr. Kathleen Hoffman. Dr. Gutowska focused on modeling the effects of PrEP pre-exposure prophylaxis on the spread of HIV in the MSM, men who have sex with men, population, considering both casual and long-term partner partnerships, along with the varied levels of adherence to the strict PrEP treatment. In the program of physics, Corey Michael Nunn, Doctor of Philosophy, whose mentor is Dr. Todd Pittman. Dr. Nunn investigated zero photon sub subtraction, a new experimental measurement technique that has applications in quantum communications. He continues his research as a National Research Council postdoctoral fellow in the quantum optics group at the National Institute of Standards and Technology.
Akram Tuil, Doctor of Philosophy, whose mentor is Dr. Sebastian Defner. Dr. Twill researched a fundamental understanding of major concepts in physics through information dynamics with an emphasis on a quantum thermodynamic perspective. He will be a postdoctoral researcher at Los Alamos National Laboratory. In the program of computer engineering, MD Shufikul Islam. Doctor of Philosophy, whose mentor is Dr. Mohammed Yunus. Dr. Islam researched challenges in establishing wireless communication from air to underwater without the presence of an intermediate surface node, which is invaluable for military and scientific applications. He is a hardware engineer at Schweitzer Engineering Laboratory. In the program of Computer Science, Nicholas R. Allgood, Doctor of Philosophy, whose mentor is Dr. Charles Nicholas. Dr. Allgood developed techniques for using quantum computation to calculate optimal starting conditions for use in certain common data clustering algorithms. He is a lecturer in the Department of Computer Science and Electrical Engineering at UMBC. <laughs> Irina Bilyeva, Doctor of Philosophy, whose mentor is Dr. Tule Adelai. Dr. Bolivia introduced a novel computational framework for the analysis and fusion of multimodal brain imaging data, resulting in discovery of de developmental brain patterns and opening new venues for understanding human brain function. She is a software architect at Johns Hopkins Medicine. in the program of Human-Centered Computing. Adeboyega Olabisi Olumide Akinshiku, Doctor of Philosophy, whose mentor is Dr. Helena Mantis. Dr. Akishiku created two design and development models for future stroke tele-rehabilitation systems. He is a senior user experience designer for the U.S. House of Representatives and will join the UMBC Health Information Technology Program as adjunct faculty this fall. Azin Semsar, Doctor of Philosophy, whose mentor is Dr. Helena Mentis. Dr. Semsar's research provided an understanding of socio-technical challenges and solutions in expert telementoring interactions, providing design and deployment guidance for team communication in critical domains such as emergency management and remote surgical training. She is a senior user studies researcher at Apple. Iraq Ray, Doctor of Philosophy whose mentor is Dr. Ravi Kuber, and whose co-mentor is Dr. Adam J. Aviv. Dr. Ray explored older adults' experiences and concerns with usability and privacy while learning how to use new technology. He is a user experience researcher at the University of Virginia. In the program of Information Systems, Iman al Shatri, Doctor of Philosophy, whose mentor is Dr. Anita Kamlodi. Dr. al Shatri investigated the role that virtual reality technologies play in encouraging international students to participate in community engagement activities. She will be an assistant professor at King Saud University in Saudi Arabia. Vipin Radhishkrinan Pillay, Doctor of Philosophy, whose mentor is Dr. Hamed Persiavash. Dr. Pillay introduced novel algorithms to train explainable deep neural network models using self-supervised learning, resulting in models with object explanations better aligned with human annotations. He is working as an applied scientist at Amazon. Aniruta Shaha, Doctor of Philosophy, whose mentor is Dr. Hamed Persiavash. 
Dr. Shaha examined security vulnerabilities and failures of machine learning models and used those insights to build trustworthy artificial intelligence systems for practical applications. He is a postdoctoral associate at the Center for Machine Learning at the University of Maryland College Park. Akshay Varun Subramania, Doctor of Philosophy, whose mentor is Dr. Hamed Percy Avash. Dr. Subramania studied the adversarial robustness of visual recognition systems and how they can be compromised in a real world setting. He proposed novel algorithms to overcome these vulnerabilities, leading to robust machine learning models. He is a researcher at Apple in San Francisco, California. Abu Zahir Mohammed Faridi, Doctor of Philosophy, whose mentor is Dr. Nirmalya Roy. Dr. Faridi focused on building scalable machine learning models for robust human activity, uh, for robust human activity recognition against environmental changes with minimal to no extra label information and discovering the power of model transferability from one environment to another. He's a postdoctoral research associate at UMBC. Srinivasan Ramasamy Ramamurti, Doctor of Philosophy, whose mentor is Dr. Nirmal Roy. Dr. Ramamurthy researched detecting signs of dementia in older adults by analyzing daily activities captured by wearable devices. He is an assistant professor at Bowie State University while researching cyber physical systems, robotics, and cybersecurity. Neha Singh, Doctor of Philosophy, whose mentor is Dr. Nirmalya Roy and whose co-mentor is Dr. Arya Gangopadhyay. Dr. Singh's research focused on assisting emergency managers during disasters by providing time-sensitive social media and sensor data analysis. She teaches data science in the computer science department at Washington University in St. Louis, Missouri. Rashidul Islam, Doctor of Philosophy, whose mentor is Dr. James R. Folds. Dr. Islam advanced fairness in machine learning by developing intersectionality-informed definitions and novel techniques for learning with applications in criminal justice, loan decisions, and academic recommendations. He will promote artificial intelligence deployment across various sectors, addressing human-facing obstacles and encouraging further research for societal benefit. Ronald Julian Perella, Doctor of Philosophy, whose mentor is Dr. Sri Devi Sampath. Dr. Perella researched user session-based testing and highlighted the practical value of, of applying this kind of testing to rich internet applications. He is a division chief engineer with the MITRE Corporation. <laughs> Ronak Razavi Susan, Doctor of Philosophy, whose mentor is Dr. Karuna P. Joshi. Dr. Razavi Susan developed the textual, fuzzy, inter interpretive structural modeling methodology to automatically analyze large textual databases and identify the relationships between their factors. She is a senior data scientist at Stonehenge and part-time professor at Northeastern University. <laughs> Mahdad Talapur. Doctor of Philosophy, whose mentor is Dr. Claire Welty. Dr. Talabpour's research focused on advancing modeling approaches of coupled urban atmospheric hydrologic processes. He won the Howard L. Pym Postdoctoral Fellowship at the Johns Hopkins University, where he is working on modeling vulnerability of urban neighborhoods to heat waves. In the program of mechanical engineering, Yared Emanuel. Doctor of Philosophy, whose mentor is Dr. L.D. Timmy Topoleski. Dr. Emanuel investigated the effect of geometry on the fatigue life of welded structures in aluminum ships using computational modeling and experimental verification with digital image correlation. He works for the architect of the Capitol in Washington, D.C.
Nathaniel RCA, Doctor of Philosophy, whose mentor is Dr. L.D. Timmy Topoleski. Dr. C.A. investigated the mechanisms that created a functionally graded transition region between a novel titanium carbide thin film and titanium substrate using computational methods and experiments. He is a mechanical engineer for the United States Navy. Myo Min Zhang, Doctor of Philosophy, whose mentor is Dr. Rong Hui Ma and whose co-mentor is Dr. Liang Zhu. Dr. Zha developed a cooling method for electronic devices using nano-encapsulated phase change slurries in a wavy microchannel sink. He explored the transport of nanoparticles in the heat sink and their interactions with the wavy structure. Dr. Zha is a mechanical engineer at Agentis Air. Dr. Shears Ashby, will you please join me at the podium to confer the degrees? Oh, you're quick. <laughs> President Shears Ashby, oh, I'm sorry. I'm getting all messed up here now. Will the candidates for the degree of Master of Fine Arts please rise? <laughs> the MFA is the terminal degree in this field. President Shears Ashby, I have the honor of presenting the candidates recommended by the faculty of the University of Maryland, Baltimore County for the degree of Master of Fine Arts. Upon the recommendation of the faculty and by the authority of the State of Maryland given to the Board of Regents and to the Chancellor of the University System of Maryland and by them entrusted to me, I hereby admit you to the, to the degree of Master of Fine Arts which you have earned during your course of studies at the University of Maryland, Baltimore County. In token whereof, you shall be given a diploma with all of the honors, privileges, and responsibilities thereunto pertaining. Now, will the candidates for the Master of Fine Arts please proceed with their mentors to the platform. Master of Fine Arts candidates in the College of Arts, Humanities, and Social Sciences. In the program of Intermedia and Digital Arts. Elizaveta Alenakova, Master of Fine Arts, whose mentor is Catherine Bell. Elizaveta uh, Alenakova's thesis the Chapel of Imagination reflects on Russian culture, ideology, and imagination through a mix of animation, projection mapping, self-portraits, and sculptural objects. She is a multimedia artist and animator from Serbia. Fahmida Hossein, Master of Fine Arts, whose mentor is Dr. Lynn Kazabon. Fahmina Hussein created a multimedia installation consisting of two works, Under Construction and Aboro Bashni, Bashini, emanating from the artist's experience living in Dhaka as an urban citizen and a woman using concrete, cotton shari, fabric, and audiovisual video projection. Will the candidates for the degree of Master of Arts, Master of Public Policy, Master of Science, and Masters of Professional Studies please rise?
President Shears Ashby, I have the honor of presenting the candidates recommended by the faculty of the University of Maryland, Baltimore County for the degrees of Master of Arts, Master of Public Policy, Master of Science, and Masters of Professional Studies. Graduates, upon the recommendation of the faculty and by the authority of the State of Maryland given to the Board of Regents and the Chancellor of the University System of Maryland, and by them entrusted to me, I hereby admit you to the degree which you have earned during your course of studies at the University of Maryland, Baltimore County. In token whereof, you shall be given a diploma with all of the honors, privileges, and responsibilities thereunto pertaining. Thank you. Will the candidates for master's degrees now proceed to the platform? Please remain seated until your row is escorted to the stage. Master of Arts candidates in the Erickson School of Aging Studies in the Program of Management of Aging Services. Rebecca Elizabeth Bond. Michelle Lauren Steele. Master of Arts candidates in the College of Arts, Humanities, and Social Sciences. In the Program of Economic Policy Analysis. Josephina C. Colantoni. Ma Khan. Seth Robert Thomas. In the program of education. Erica Caitlin Gallagher. Erica Bliss. Rachel Baker. In the program of teaching English to speakers of other languages. Shazia Shafiq Han. Elisa Gonzalez Farias. Mohammed Mohammed Abdel Majid Ahmed Galal. Yolanda Maribel Ramos Ordonez. Shana Missouri. Grant J. Clifton. In the program of teaching. Feyishayo Orishadipe. Christine Davis. Alexandra Nicole Twilly. Mary Cappert. Courtney Michelle Renahan. Samantha Martin. Brenda Veronica Janvier. Sean Christopher Humes. Jack Schwartz. Nihira Maria Mugamba. Halima Yewande Adekoya. Brittany Sherelle Graham. Darcy Ostrander. Rida Ahmed. Alma Jasmine Molina Reyes. David Gilbert Demarest. Adrian Song. Liam Garrett Moxley. 
in the program of historical studies. Nikki Ann Marie Weitz. Austin Edelenboss. Garrett David Fries. Michael Morris. Nolan Ewing Bari. In the program of text, technologies, and literature. Cameron Harrison. Emma Grace Jett. In the program of intercultural communication. Brianna Dominique Brown. Samantha Nicole Benton. Emma Jarvis. Corey Jean Simon. In the program of learning and performance technology. Denise S. Cardona. Emerald C. Wilson. In the program of Applied Sociology. Julissa Zalaya Barrera. Julissa Gomez Rivalcaba. Danae S. Marquez. Jeterica Settle. Corey Gaines. Markia D. Reed. Lydia Camille Sanella. Elizabeth Ann Kreiner. Hi, Alex. <laughs> Master of Public Policy Candidates in the College of Arts, Humanities, and Social Sciences. In the program of Public Policy. Smita Vasanta Mahesh. Congratulations, Zane. Zane Allen Poffenberger. Taylor West. Edward Alexander Marsh. Michelle Laura Berry. Melody Afrane Pinamon. Alejandro Hurtado Osorio. Donald Michael Suica. Yeah. David Aaron Koningsberg. In the program of Community Leadership. Rashida D. Evans. Lernell Randolph McKetty. Anita Bird. Sean Nolan. Ellen Trues. Danielle Nicole Clifford Earls. Michelle H. Connor. Brandy Muller. Leon Emmanuel Payano Frias. Master of Professional Studies candidates in the College of Arts, Humanities, and Social Sciences. In the program of Industrial Organizational Psychology. Moira Rose Loney. Jeremy Brett Allen Joseph. Elizabeth Bird.
Saloni Dimri. Sonali Kadian. Alikia Kalapala. Manjiri Mukund Trikande. Alea Brian Collins. Jasmine R. Elliott. Kareem D. Martin. Jasmine Mariah Spears. Master of Science candidates in the College of Arts, Humanities, and Social Sciences in the Program of Emergency Health Services. Thomas W. Rivalis. In the Program of Geography and Environmental Systems. Natalia Figueredo Botello. Emma Gilligan. Gabriela Elena Icaza. In the program of Biological Sciences. Sri Sushma Madi. Master of Science candidates in the College of Natural and Mathematical Sciences. In the program of Applied Molecular Biology. Brian Kwanu Boon. Naila Netfa Campbell. Elora Svoboda. Trinity Walker. Kyle Adam Dickerson. In the program of Applied Mathematics. Peter Joseph Lavagnino. In the program of statistics. Olud Muhammad Ismaila. In the program of atmospheric physics. Alric Livingston Green. In the program of physics. Lisbeth Joy G. Tan. Eric Lowe. In the program of Marine Estuarine Environmental Science. Daryl I. Acker Carter. Chelsea Noel Bergman. Jessica Diaz. In the program of biotechnology, Reshma Adulur, Michaela Ariana Aiken, Estella Benson, Naveen Panjala. Ankit Renukuntla. Razia Sample. Emmanuel Georgia Kakis. Sunandini Venigandla. Master of Professional Studies candidates in the College of Natural and Mathematical Sciences. In the program of Entrepreneurship, Innovation, and Leadership, Candice Marie Yanchenko. Tracy Antoinette Devon. Brett Bausia. Reese Davis. Keila Dixon. Imani A. Dawson. 
Dmitrius Vasoyevich. Master of Science candidates in the College of Engineering and Information Technology. In the program of Environmental Engineering. Dylan Peter Hahn. Rida Munir. Anna Grace King McLean. In the program of Computer Engineering. Malcolm D. Thorpe. MD Tofik Hassan Anik. Kashik Alu Suresh. In the program of Computer Science. Benjamin Brian Hawkins. Jai Dirajlal Patel. Shaquille Ahmed Kunhi Marakar. Prasna Nikhil Satwik Wadlamani. Lasya Chituri. Sushma Putumbaka. Naveen Babu Kakumani. Krishna Prasad Bunga. Yashwant Sai Murali Saladi. Projecta Digvijay Narse. Arun Vaidyanatha Ayer Krishna. Arushi Sharma. Miloni Jayesh Kumar Shah. Darya Patel. J. Jitendra Kumar Boranpuri. Shalin Ashish Jani. Shubham Kajera. Andrew Douglas Barlow. Colin Joseph Vieson. An Tien Tran. Surajit Saha. Shubashish Roy Dipta. Joshua Oliver Galita. Samantha Ashley Stefanis. Ankima Tripati. Paul Sampson Ladala. Idosa Letta. Vedant Bakliwal. Chelsea Morais. Rishab Sawa. Monisha Manvani. Shiva Ram Reddy Panama Reddy. Chetan Mediboyina. Gaurav Basir. Adish Purnima Arun Padmunkar. Sai Madhav Kolori. Suyash Ganesh Chermay. Aditya Santosh Kursale. Parth Bodhiya.
Hemant Gopal. Anurag Power. Mohit Sanjay Patil. Pushan Mahajan. Saksham Harish Aurora. Hitangshi Bakim Desai. Lucky Verma. Devang Vaidya. Tejaswini Manjanat. Pranit Sai Madiredi. Maitri Devulapali. Lokesh Medarametla. Abhinav Reddy Kara. Pradeep Kumar Reddy Dasari Leela. Lohith Prakash Kanda. Sagar Dahal. Jeremy Singh. Rahul Dadvai. Prashi Bindu. Nariksha Narendra Babu. Sahiti Reddy Arkit. Nikita Reddy Amaram. Puja Gopu. Ryan C. Barron. Iraj Kumar Bodu. Abes Ahmed Muhammad. Sai Sandeep Mane. Rohit Sri Ram Mudaganti. Ima Bindu Yaram. Gunadeep Kandula. Ram Gopal Adapa. Sai Charita Tati. Sakshi Umesh Reddy. Vinit Utpal Kumar Basmia. Solomon Jayakur Durga. Anirud Balea Mahesh. Vinit Nalan Chakra Barthula. Narayana Murari Goshetti. Abhishek Chintalapati. Satya Sivya Surya Data Saichan Chabolu. Durga Prasad Jagarlamudi. Hersha Vardhan Arikatla. Manjiri Mohan Virke. Radhika Rajendra Bong. Gaurab Das. Vinayak Shivaji Salvi. Pradeep Agrawal. Parth Nitin Panse. Sarab Dewangan. Jeffrey Matthew Reginald.
Siddharth Chandrasekharan. In the program of electrical engineering, William Edward Denny. Wei Wang. In the program of engineering management, Yomiyu Fakadu. Puja Anil. Vital Raghavendra Miskin. Purushottam Jagadish. Sai Venkatesh Ravan Ann. Nishche Malikarjunapa Gauda. Harishwar Bachu. Elijah J. Henderson. Ajayi Emanuela Oluwadara. Yashwini Valaisami Vijay Kumar. Suhath Jagannath Kastur. Jayesh Rajendra Samant. Sartak Mandloi. Vikas Sadiwa. Dabal Indradev Sharma. Apurwa Vishnu Busari. Gaurav Rajesh Karaj Gaonkar. Rusha Boyar. Vicky Rushi Gedekar. Arjun Sharma. Mohammed Faizan. Priyanka Jayashila. Mudasir Ajaz. Sanjana Tripati. Meg Vipas Mokashi. Sunil Kumar, Tiavana Hali, Sathya Narayana. Anish Matthew. Sunil Kumar, Tiavana Hali, Sathya Narayana. In the program of Systems Engineering. Jonathan J. Jet Palmer. Kalechi Didi Onyamechi. Rani A. Justin. In the program of human centered computing, Ji Young Min. Aisha Ajit Adkar. Arjun Roy. Sham Ravichandran. Parakavi Sundar. Priyal Shah. Niharika Nitin Bankupuri. Garvit Patwa. Sri Priya Jasrapuriya. Parth Kiran Kumar Thakur. Caitlin Matani Misuk. Jivam Gohal. Cornelia Grasha Kuswanto. Prapti Chetan Panchal. 
Sarah M. Parker. Shravanti Vita Sanjay. Hervey Ulrich Budi Udom. Priya Kaburu. Megana Paluru. In the program of Information Systems, Aaron Nadler. <laughs> Jocelyn Neva Guzman. Papudesi Umapati Navya. Pavna Rajasekhar. Anisha Yadav. Shikha Jetwar. Gabriel Maturo. MD Mahmudur Rahman. Shikira Bandaru. Jaya Vamsi Banda. Kirti Reddy Abutu. Samith Chakilela. Tanish Raja. Priyadarshini Arkat. Atul Kumar Sharma. Sudhan Shuja. Sanju Biju. Nikhil Naranjan Vagmari. Rohan Mandar Salvi. Shubham Vikas Moli. Marcus Carter. Chaitna Mera. Raj Kumar Mittal. Juhi Sanjay Shah. Dharmi Sanjay Shah. Parijat Saxena. Nitya Sri Kodru. Prem Kari Chowdhury Nimalapudi. Balakrishna Kudanapali. Banu Prakash Reddy Nagara Madhugu. Shantan Kumar Chakunta. Sudeep Mishra. Setineni Ajay Kumar. Akshay Reddy Nandu. Mudarida Rao Pulsani. Srinath Palasani. Prakyath Kola. Saikuma Reddy Nanuru. Jani Sharif Sheikh. Clifton Halloway Jr. Neha Upadhyay. Rajan Jagdish Yadav. Abhishek Rajeshwar Patakar. Sumati Ajit Rao Mane. Saili Pramod Babulgankar. Garima Kumari. 
Apurva Vijay Kumar Raji. Vashish Goswami. Ure Kiran Kakumanu. Rushik Sai Kashetti. Maitri Rao. Sheila Gurung. Kruten Patel. Sri Lanka Kupili. Saddam Al Amin. Tejaswini Ginjapali. Savanti Pali. Sai Venkata Kameshwara Sushma Irukuvarjala. Megana Priyanka Ankala. Diksha Ailini. In the program of mechanical engineering. Sanjay Singh Prasad. Kai Scott Wisner. Alexander Ives. Master of Professional Studies candidates in the College of Engineering and Information Technology. In the program of cybersecurity. Fabian Armando Benavides. Dana Holland. Bahanon Jessica Tracy Dadua. Kunwoo Park. Raymond Christian Woods. Gavin Maxwell David Rader. Carrie A. Myers. Watsala Herbert. Rakinet Wilhelmina Nelson. Zuliat Titilope Adegoke. Harshita Bomaredi Pali. Metogbe Jacques Wesu. Asari Kingsley. Snehavarsha Sriram. Mohammed Arsalan Sharif. Omar Baker Aga. Shaur Majid. In the program of data science. Yeshwant Maila. Rachel Juanita Sandlin. James Christian Holson. Daniel Ta'an. Hetvi Piyush Patel. Sarah Elizabeth Denlinger. Hafsa J. Chaudhry. Tehera Hematian Porfard. Colleen Noel Borman. Shreya Uday Patil. Eugene Fong. Geneva Robin Williams Blackwell. Nazia Noor. Aisha Nassim. Cynthia Merve Matinu. Blen Fasaha. Madeline Renee Nolder. 
Kritika Agarwal. Samuel Clark. Livan Sulimanov. Bansari Shah. Shika Chandresh Kumar Patel. Caroline Kingori. Udveg Reddy Jukanti. Shweta Reddy Reddy Mali. Akshita Kukudala. Vivek Pandi. Venkata Savitri Sravani Rabula Parthi. Brian A. DeLone. Sean Martin Chaikin. Tarun Eshwar Reddy Wiyuru. Harshit Srimali. Johnny Lee Morgan. Venkatesh Raj Rudrapa. Kiran Kumar Chidambaram Sivaraman. Jaswanth Sai Nathani. Saida Babu Garlapati. Nikitha Alla. Samyukta Jalagam. Samyukta Guda. Saideep Reddy Malgi Reddy. Ram Charan Teja Palanki. Shravan Chaudhary Vupalapati. Sri Harsha Balusu. Vishwas Kalyanam. Omkar Katkade. Lakshmi Kavya Ravi. Dejashvi Gade. Dikshita Karvali. Charishma Chowdhury Tumala. Niha Reddy Gali. Devi Manaswi Kalam. Yemenashu Sagai. Shreya Salgia. Sushruta Jagdish Shetty. Prince Raghuvanshi. Vaibhav Gupta. Nishit Manoj Bhai Vyas. Stefan Andrew Diaz. Parth Zaveri. Utkarshika Baidya. Dishant Ganeshlal Faput. Abdul Wahid. Anusha Ayagari. Spandana Chenamane Ni. FNU Ujwal. Puja Lavetti. Sanath Kumar Chiliveru. Vinay Kumar Kota. Himanth Siva Sitaram Dadala. Saikatan Gande. Madhu Kiran Bharatha. 
Ajit Rajesh Jadhav. Nikita Nitin Dharmadakari. Komal Prakash Londi. Karan Ajay. Shrashti Soni. Vasavi Kunapali. Vaishnavi Vemuri. Venkata Pranith Donaparti. Sri Sharma. Patlanki Sesha Divya. Adishri Pandi. Desai Shekha Mitesh Pai. Anuja Yawar. Harshil Prajapati. Chirag Jayesh Kumar Jada. Patel Atman Piyush. Sai Naga Venkata Santoshi Nitya Bandaru. Sai Manoj Kalasani. Sai Varaprasad Satipali. Suhetu Ring. Sravya Pamula. Mohan Brahma Harshavanga. Harshita Yentra Pragada. Hema Chaudhuri Kavuri. Manisha Basavana. Pragati Gopishetti. Ranjit Reddy Mada. Sashil Reddy Gurala. Naveen Neely. Harsha Wardan Kurua. Jaya Prakash Labyavath. Prashanti Ponakala. Banu Harish Surisetti. Jesse Caroline Marugu. Naga Chandrika Bamidi. Akila Sitanagari. Shivani Reddy Anaram. Parda Saradi Mogilapata. Bharat Chandra Mokapati. Praharsh Kumar Kaluri. Silesh Reddy Gudapati. Sathyam Chanu Molo. Abdul Janaid Muhammad. Shanakya Shiva Teja Polisetti. In the program of Health Information Technology, Saraswathi Srawani Poluri. Bharat Srinivas Gangavali. Kasabu Aishwarya Lakshmi. Nawal Yusef. Nadia Yusef. Mark Anthony Anderson, Sr. Toshita Sriki Reddy. Dasharatam Koda. Ugona Wafur. Ashley Britton. Abisola Olabisi. 
Leslie Oninia Ekpezi. Toshita Sriki Reddy. Siddharth Nanduri. Sneha Bandari. Jason Samuel Mutiala. Congratulations again to each one of you. We are so very proud of all of you, and we look forward to seeing you all that you will accomplish. Now please join me in welcoming the UMBC Camarada and Jubilee Singers to lead us in the alma mater. The words can be found on the back of your program. After the alma mater, we ask that you remain in your seats our program will be concluded by our Grand Marshal, and then the platform party and students will recess. Please wait to leave until the platform party has left the floor. While they assemble, I just feel one more clap in my body for our students. invite the Grand Marshal, Dr. Susan McDonough, to conclude our ceremony. Will everyone kindly remain standing until the platform party has recessed? Families and friends are asked to meet the graduates outside of the arena. On behalf of UMBC community, I wish you congratulations, everyone! Thank you.